Hey there, thanks for joining Dee and Coco's Epic Adventures. We are taking you on a tour of Singapore at night. There is so much to do. Come along with us. It's raining, <clears throat> but we need food and we want to go out for an adventure. So, umbrellas. I thought this was so cool. This is a drone butterfly light show. And how cool is that? They would move and dance. Um, we decided to go check out a local hawker station, but it was raining. And like I said, you have to be prepared. We grabbed a little bite to eat and then walked over near the Marina Bay Sands and the museum. This is the Art Science Museum, that big half bowl shape. And I just love the architecture here in Singapore. This is the Helix Bridge. We decided to go take a walk along the Helix Bridge. And the views here are, of course, incredible. Great views, but it does get crowded in there. Singapore is a gorgeous city between all of the things to do, the architecture, the weather. I mean, it is hot, but it is doable. The rain is just a gorgeous city and pretty safe. If you're hungry, there's plenty of food options here in Singapore, wherever you go. Upon our journey walking through Singapore at night, we found this really cool mural called Singapore River Mural, and it goes through a tunnel, which I guess there's five of them in Singapore. So it would be cool to check out the others. Every night at 8 and 9 p.m., Marina Bay Sands puts on a spectacular light show. After that light show, we decided to take a little walk over to the Fullerton Hotel. The Fullerton Hotel is a very plush, elegant, upscale hotel in Singapore, but it does attract a lot of tourists and visitors. Especially during the Lunar New Year, there's a lot of people in here and I mean, they kind of went all out with their celebration decorations, so I can see why. This hotel was absolutely gorgeous. Just look at that staircase. I think this might be the most grand staircase I've ever seen. And on the lower level of the Fullerton Hotel, you will find a walking escalator that will get you to and from, as well as a beautiful little koi pond. And like I said, when you're in Singapore, be prepared for rain. When we came out, it was just pouring. After an amazing little walkthrough of the Fullerton Hotel, we decided to head on over to the Marina Bay Sands shopping mall. Again, this is Lunar New Year, and I think it might have been really extra crowded because everybody was there, and it was really hard to find a place to eat. And as I said before, Singapore is very clean, but there's like an overwhelming amount of trash in the trash can. So we decided to try to go find a hawker center and go eat there. I will say that in Asia, all of the malls have been top notch for the most part. They really know how to create some amazing spaces and unlike in America, they're definitely still a place where people want to go and hang out. Also, just as a heads up, we will be posting a video where we took a beautiful boat ride along the Singapore River. Definitely go check that out. Our last night in Singapore, we decided to check out Gardens by the Bay, Garden Rhapsody, and it did not disappoint. Um, you can watch this show from down on the ground and it's totally beautiful, but if you want to go to the top and walk on the bridge, you can pay for a ticket. It is very affordable, but um, we did that. Would we do it again? 
No. Was it a great experience the first time? Yes. So if you're going, pay for the ticket, go to the top. If not, just go ahead and watch from the ground. It is beautiful. We highly recommend you come up to the bridge at least once, pay for that ticket because the views up here are simply breathtaking. They do only give you about 30 minutes on the bridge, but that's plenty of time to take pictures and enjoy. And then after that, just enjoy the show from down below. Singapore is simply beautiful and so much fun. Check out our video on our day trip and until next time, happy travels. Bye.